So problem F24 says to resolve the 30 pound force into components along the U and V axes and determine the magnitude of each of the components. So looking at the diagram here, we can see uh, both the U and V axes that are given. And we are also given the vector force along with its direction from the U and V axes. And so starting off with the V component here of the force, we can go ahead and redraw the original force, and that's 30 pounds. Then here we have the v-axis and the vertical line, along with the direction of 15 degrees, and now forming a triangle, and adding in the horizontal line, and that's 30 degrees. And now here between those two angles, we're going to have an unknown angle theta but we can easily find its value knowing that theta will be equal to the 90 degrees formed between the horizontal and vertical lines minus the 15 plus the 30 degrees just like so and so this will be equal to 45 degrees and so theta is simply equal to 45 degrees and now we can go ahead and simply redraw this triangle and remember that the magnitude of the force, which is 30 pounds, is equal to the length of that vector. So and that's just simply length 30. And then here the 45 degrees. And here in the V direction is the V component of the force, FV. And I'm just going to simplify the sketch to the left here. And so here we can see that we have two other angles missing in the triangle. But we can also tell that these are alternate interior angles here with the 30 degrees and hence this angle will also be 30 degrees and now we can go ahead and add that 30 degrees to the sketch on the right and now i'm just going to go ahead and call this angle alpha and now here knowing that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 alpha will be simply equal to 180 degrees minus the 45 degrees plus the 30 degrees and hence, alpha is simply 105 degrees. And so now we have all the angles inside this triangle. And now I'm just going to recolor the FV. And here we can see that we know one length of this triangle. And we know all three angles. And hence, we can go ahead and simply use the sine law. To find FV. And so from the sine law we have FV divided by the sine of the angle corresponding across from it, which is the 30 degrees. And then this equals to the length 30 divided by the sine of the angle across from the 30, which is 105 degrees in this case. And so now isolating FV by multiplying the sine 30 to the other side, we get FV is equal to 30 times sine of 30 degrees divided by sine of 105 degrees. And so solving this using a calculator, this equals to 15.53. And so therefore, the V component of the force FV will be equal to about 15.5 pounds. And now to find the U component of the force. Looking back at the picture, we can see that the force is directed 30 degrees off of the U axis. So like before, we're just going to redraw the force. And now specifically the U axis. And that right there is 30 degrees. And then here we also have the V axis. then this interior angle 45 degrees and then 105 and then the alternate interior angle 30 degrees and now just labeling the u-axis now as you can see this triangle will be the mirror of the other triangle so this is 105 and this 45 and so now i'm just gonna redraw this triangle 
and now just filling in the angles. Then this length is 30, and this bottom length is FU. And now this is a very similar case to the previous one, so we can just simply apply the sine law to find FU. And so opposite to FU is the 45 degrees. So this will be FU over sine of 45. And now that is equal to the length 30 over sine of the angle opposite from the 30, which is 105. And now multiplying sine 45 to both sides. Hence, we have FU equals 30 times sine 45 divided by sine of 105, just like that. And hence, solving this out, this equals 21.96. And so therefore, the U component of the force FU is equal to about 22 pounds.